On the eve of the anniversary of the Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade, Democratic Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs signing a sweeping executive order. That order will protect anyone involved with a legally obtained abortion from prosecution. The move is getting praise from pro-choice groups, but critics call it an abuse of power that will likely end up in court. Stephanie Bennett joins us live now with details. Steph? Yeah, reproductive freedom has been a top priority for Governor Katie Hobbs just yesterday alone, showing her support for legislation that is going to expand access to contraception. And now we have this executive order. Having a governor take action on promises that that was made to us to gain her vote is so important for us who are on the ground fighting to help people have meaningful access to abortion care. Nearly one year after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, Governor Katie Hobbs has signed an executive order protecting reproductive freedom for Arizonans. Doctors here in the Valley, like Deshaun Taylor, say it's a win. The fear of prosecution, um, whether it's meaningful or not, is, has a chilling effect on providers. So this extra protection is extremely important for us to be able to continue to show up in, in the best way that we can to make sure that we're providing services that our communities need. As part of the executive order, only Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays, a Democrat, will be able to oversee abortion-related prosecutions, ultimately stripping all 15 county attorneys from prosecuting abortion-related crimes. The order also bans local prosecutors from bringing abortion-related charges and state agencies from assisting in any criminal investigations without a court order. In addition, Arizona will not honor any extradition requests from other states for people wanted for assisting, providing, or seeking an abortion. And finally, the executive order will create a special counsel to help make recommendations on how to expand access to sexual and reproductive health care in our state. I believe that we will see at least one county attorney, if not multiple county attorneys from both parties challenge this executive order for its, its plainly unconstitutional grounds. Republican State Senator Jake Hoffman opposing Hobbs' decision today saying this is more of a political stunt. Attempting to strip duly elected county officials of their statutory uh, responsibility, uh, it just won't hold up in court. And so no matter what uh, they think they're trying to accomplish, when this gets challenged, and it will ultimately get challenged, it's going to fall flat on its face. Yeah, and currently under a 2022 law, abortions in Arizona are allowed in the first 15 weeks of pregnancy. Reporting live at the state capitol, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.